images from U.S. Airways Flight 1549 were incredible. A commercial plane carrying 155 passengers landed in New York's Hudson River. Everyone on board survived. It was a double bird strike that brought down the plane. I went to the laboratory at the Smithsonian Institution where they examined the remains of those birds and many, many others. This is where Carla Dove and her small but mighty team figure out which species are commonly involved in airplane strikes. In the case of Flight 1549, it was Canada geese. People in the bird strike world call us, call us BSI for bird strike identification. Dove's team uses forensic techniques at their feather identification lab. The lab has over 600,000 bird specimens, and it IDs about 4,500 bird strikes a year. If you do the math, that's about 18 a day. Here's where Dove's team falls into the process. After a bird strikes an aircraft, remains, either actual feathers or snarge, is but ick, are sent to Dove's lab for analysis. And this is the kind of material, typical kind of material that we may get from a case. Her team uses three different ways to analyze the feathers to determine which birds are to blame. If they get enough feathers... If we have whole feathers and we're confident of the identification, it wasn't a damaging bird strike, we go on the whole feathers. If it's, uh, we have a little bit of remains, we can't get DNA, we use the microscopic characters. If we have any feather fragments that go with that. So it's kind of like solving a little puzzle. Every case that you get is different, but we have it covered. We've got three different tools in our toolbox. The microscopic characters, the whole feathers, and now we have the DNA. If it's a damaging um, bird strike, we have to do everything. We'll pull out the carpet just to do everything. The whole feathers, we do repeated microscopic slide work, we do repeated DNA just to make sure that we are certain that it is indeed what we call it is. With bird strikes on the rise, their results and the data really matter. We now have a lot more large birds flying around out there. We really have more aircraft flying around too, but we have quieter aircraft, quieter engines, uh, faster, and so it's sort of a recipe for a disaster. Once Dove's team can identify what species of birds are causing the problem, like Canada geese in the case of Flight 1549, wildlife biologists, airfield managers, and the FAA can start to take the appropriate actions. In the past 20 years, uh, more than 200 people have lost their lives due to bird strikes, and over 200 aircraft have been completely destroyed. And Canada geese, for many years, have been probably one of the most hazardous species associated with aircraft. Uh, I think more than half of all strikes involving Canada geese result in damage. If you know the species of birds that's causing the problem, that's the first step in figuring out what to do about it. You want to cut the grass? Do you want to let the grass grow? Do you want to move this pond? Um, do you want you know, to move this dump away from the airport? So really, knowing the species of birds that's involved in causing the problem is the first step. And Duff says, hopefully, that will decrease the number of bird strikes. For the Discovery Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner.